Good evening, everybody, and welcome to uh, the traditional service uh, this Sunday night at Christ Fellowship in Palmetto Bay, Florida, with our pastor, Carrie Miller. And, oh, okay, thank you, Pastor. Our pastor, Carrie Miller. And uh, we have some great hymns, really. They're all on the board, those are correct, but the first one is Down at the Cross. Sing all four verses. six months a year, but you know, they don't know. God's the one who knows what's yeah. the story, you know, so hey, we're man. praying for, please pray for Maureen. I saw today on the internet, I don't know if you guys saw this on Facebook, whatever, there's this, this group of Christians, professionals, uh, real professionals, uh, um, 
with the media and entertainment I industry that is doing the first uh, Christ TV set. Uh, it's going to be a TV series based upon the life of Christ. Right. And they showed a 20 minute clip, which was basically um, Christ's birth. It was phenomenal. Phenomenal. I can't even explain. So at the end, what they're doing is to fund it, they've already raised $5 million. They're asking for investors, people that invest like $100 or $200. So I, I invest a little bit and everything. And uh, not, not because I want to get money back or anything, but they're not asking for actually the, the donations. They're asking for investors. So and I'll tell you, it was just so incredible. So, uh, you know, you might want to look it up. It's Christ TV. It's a, a TV series, a new TV set. Apparently, there's been movies about Christ. There's never been a TV series. Now that they have these binge things where you can watch all, all about Christ's life from birth to uh, unbelievable what I saw today. So I'm, yeah. praying, for, I'm praying for that, the success of that because I want Christ to take over the airways. You know, the Christians, one of the problems is Christians gave up education. They stopped worrying about education. They stopped worrying about entertainment. And they gave it, gave it up to the devil, you know, let him have it. You know, it was a big mistake. So, uh, Steve, Steve's health. I know he fell down today and uh, re-injured something, so I'm praying for Steve over there. There he is, right there. And uh, for his daughter, too. Right. Uh, and uh, Jeff's daughter, he's having some, uh, Jeff, who's usually here, is having some problems because she's a teenager. Hey, call me she's today. a teenager, so that's a, that's, a, that's a disease. So, you know, we can pray for that. Uh, the border problems that are happening today down at the border, we're hoping that they resolve with that. Where uh, I don't know how you resolve where everybody's happy, but uh, uh, we certainly hope, hope nobody gets injured. Uh, Pastor Mike Campbell's got back problems. I'm praying for him. And uh, my, now I'm sure this applies to a lot of people, so it's across the board. But I know my daughter, my both my daughters, and both my son-in-laws and five grandchildren are up in Orlando doing something for the whole weekend, they're traveling. So anybody who has kids or anything traveling or anything like that or praying for those, them and any unspoken prayers people have, we're praying for those unspoken prayers. Okay, it's open to the floor. Anybody have any uh, prayer requests? Yes. Uh, my cousin Ann Goodrich, she's recuperating back her surgery. Ann Goodrich. Anybody else? Yes. Mary in the Philippines uh, prays and thanks, asks for continued prayers, and she got a message. Yes. Before she was so really down and stressed, but you came and taught her to have faith and there's a God who cares always. And everyone here inspires her, especially pastor's message, and she puts in parentheses the God message. She gives thanks, and she said, uh, regard me to everyone, and to Pastor, and to Russell, and to Paula. Oh, God Emma. bless her. You know, we've been following her for a while, and she's bless got you, a heck of a story. We love you. You remember when she first uh, started watching? That's when her father left, and uh, right. left her basically in charge, or, you know, raising everybody, being responsible. She was looking for a job, and all that stuff sort of turned around. And now her father's back now, and unbelievable fantastic and she also gives praise and thanks that her daughter was sick last time but she's better now yeah. and they spent a great day together yesterday yeah. starting wow. in church and then the whole day so. great fantastic also Carmen in Mexico she watches every week right um, and she appreciates uh, the prayers and she gives praise and thanks and asks for continued prayers for her and she prays for us and she loves everyone here great thank you Anybody else? Prayer request, Jesse. David? Uh, David? Yeah. And uh, Julie Castro has breast cancer. Julie Castro. Zuli. Zuli. That's her name. C-U-L-U. <coughs> okay. Any other prayer requests? Yes, Dwayne. Do you want me to pray for your fence? To finish, for me to to finish. Fin for you to finish your fence. <coughs> I gotta pray for you to not be lazy, I suppose, or something like that. What is it? 
finish your fence. But you're able to finish your fence. Okay, let me get that. Dwayne. I want to, I want to pray for Greg. And you know, Jeff's supposed to meet with him this week for lunch. And he says he thinks he's doing all right. So we'll continue to pray for Greg. Well, let's just hope he's clean and sober. That's it. Yeah. Anybody else? We're going to pray for all our kids and everything like that. Okay, we'll go to Lord and pray. Lord Jesus, we mentioned many of the prayers, and you know, and you know what's on our hearts, and you know what people need. We're praying for Maureen, uh, that she be cured of her cancer, and also Zuli Castro, the same thing. And, and the people we know and love out there that have health problems, we're praying for anybody with health problems. People who maybe didn't mention them or are having some problems with uh, their health, we're praying that you give them peace and serenity and uh, heal them. Praying for Dwayne and that he's able to get the fence finished. And praying for Greg, who is sponsored by Jeffrey and yes, has Lord. had recovered from uh, alcohol and uh, and uh, heroin. And he was doing really well. Then he sort of slipped again. Now he's uh, uh, doing well again. He attends the church a lot here. Uh, this this service, we're, and uh, we're praying for him and that he returns and. We have a lot of people that are out that I'm sure that are on the road in their vacation. We're praying for their uh, travel mercies for them. The new TV series, the Christ TV series, that have to be well funded yeah. and be able to go all over the world and Steve's health and his daughter and Jeff's daughter and uh, the border problems and pray for the country and the, uh, hmm. our government uh, and our leaders and our, and our church leaders too, all the churches. Pray uh, for Mike Campbell, uh, my pastor over at uh, yes, uh, Prez, and uh, uh, my daughter, all our daughters and sons and grandkids, and most importantly, that they come to the Lord and that they uh, they know they know His His uh, His grace and uh, ask Him to be their Lord and Savior. Uh, we pray for Ann Goodall, uh, who had back surgery and. Uh, and Mary in the Philippines gives her praise, and we're praying for her, still praying for her and her family in Carmen in Mexico. We're yes. so happy that they're tuning in with us. And uh, David, who's uh, incarcerated, and we just hope everything works out for him and his family and his kids and, and Jesse's grandkids. And, uh, and uh, we ask for all this, and we pray for all this in your blessed son's name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So I think that covers that, and now we're going to do... Uh, Oh, now we're on 210. My Jesus, I love thee. We're going to do uh, 1 and 4. 1 and 4. 2 for 2. Uh. My Jesus.
take a few moments out and uh, say hello. <laughs> so good. Number 
the people that have it in their heart to, to give. And Lord, we just pray that these offerings are used wisely in order to carry the gospel message and uh, the Great Commission. We ask this in your blessed Son's name, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 just now that there was a gentleman, a young man in one of the islands that went to convert to Jesus and he was they killed him. Yes. And uh, we want to pray for him and his family. Amen. We'll yeah, pray for good. Him. Pray to God. And he's with the Lord now. I'm thinking I think I my, my feeling is if you're going to convert and you get killed, the Lord probably uh, Yeah. He was a missionary. He was a, oh he was a missionary. He was a missionary. His last words were, I love you, and God loves you, and I love you too. Well, we got the arrow. I'm sorry. So now we're going to do 450. We have a couple, we have three really good hymns coming up. Well, two right now and one after the message. 450, I need thee every hour. We're going to do one, two, and five. We, we started a little bit late today because of the holiday and everything like that, and we want to make sure we hear all the messages. Give Pastor carry as much time as he needs. So one, two, and five. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
lest I forget Gethsemane, lest I forget thine agony, lest I forget thy love for me, lead me to Calvary. May I be willing, Lord, to bear daily my cross for thee. Even thy cup of grief will share, thou hast forgotten for me. Lest I forget Gethsemane, lest I forget thy agony, lest I forget thy love for me. Thank you, Pauline. Okay. Thank you. Pastor Carrie Miller, our pastor. Thank you, Pastor.